Hello, Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Kashif Ali Zaid and I'll be one of your speakers for the YLP Committee on Foreign Affairs, where we will be dis discussing CPEC and its previous and future endeavors. Um, and now uh, your fe my fellow chair will be describing the topic more. Thank you. Over to you, Hijab. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Hijab Rafi, as Kashif already told you all, and I'll be your other co-chair for this Committee on Foreign Affairs. So our topic area at hand is essentially CPEC, and in this topic, we want you to really get into the depth of how CPEC really came about in Pakistan, how China and Pakistan even decided about upon this middle ground where this situation was built upon. So in this committee, we want you to go first to its history and background, and explore it, and see how this thing came about in the first place. Then, we want you to explore different kinds of impacts that this has on Pakistan. So the kind of socio-economic impacts this has on Pakistan, the kind of economic impact it has. Is that women ke upar kya farak padta hai? Gawadar smart city ki aap baat kare. Is that Gawadar mein kya kya opportunities aayengi? How will this, you know, improve employment opportunities in Pakistan? GDP pe kya impact aayega? All of these things are very important and essential for this topic to be, you know, extracted properly and all of these things you should explore within the committee but aside from the social economic impact you should also obviously come back to the political aspect of it also considering that my committee foreign affairs committee hai to per political impact mein jab hum aate hain to we want you to talk about the kind of um, international image that pakistan would have because of um, you know cpec or even like dwell, dwelling into this whole idea of how cpec how China gets more control over Pakistan in this. So the extent of this control, Pakistan kiss hat tak China ke hato me jata hai because of CPEC. All of these ideas are um, interesting and all of these ideas are debatable. And we would love for the committee to address all of these ideas. But coming to the third idea, which is also very essential, and that is this environmental aspect of CPEC also. So we see that when CPEC roads and they have their own factories and infrastructure, we also see that you know, they're essentially degrading the whole natural landscape of Pakistan. So we want these are aspects that we also think that the committee should address. And we look forward to hearing you debate on these issues. And now I'll hand it over to Kashif, who will further explain how we wish to have you go about this committee. Hi, thank you, Hijab. That was great. Um, first and foremost, guys, the committee will obviously be following the mandate of the Pakistani constitution, Pakistani courts, how everything happens there. However, because we know that a lot of you are first timers, we know a lot of you may be nervous about doing a conference that's online, we will be very relaxed. So do not come in worrying and being nervous and anxious because Hijab and I both, um, we know we understand how nervous one can get. And because of that, we don't want you to worry. We don't want you to panic. We want you to be relaxed. Do join the Facebook groups. If you are nervous, you can reach out to either of us. You can reach out to our deputy speakers. We're all very nice, I promise. Um, coming on to the actual committee. So while the committee will be relaxed, we expect all of you to sort of stay attuned to your personalities. So you all have personalities a lot. Now, her personality is a kind of Usually, in the United Nations, it happens that when you get countries, you have to be with them all diplomatic. But Pakistani personalities, just like we know, they are not so diplomatic. So we want that you personalities ke according to your personality. Adapt kare. So if you get someone like this or someone who is very nice, very diplomatic, very professional, very nice to talk to you, we want that you do it in that way. When you are giving speeches, you follow their language, their tone. But if you get someone like a controversial person who is so soft in politics, or perhaps is angry, perhaps uh, language unki itni proper nahi hai, professional nahi hai, phir aap usko adapt kare. Obviously, aap pas choice hai, hum nahi chahate ki agar aap kisi chiz se uncomfortable aap ho karein, but agar personality aapki bohat achhi hai, to phir aap unmodern patta nizi nahi kar sakte. Wo to hum waise bhi nahi allow karenge, <laughs> sabko pata hona chahiye, but if your, if your personality is someone who's controversial, be controversial in the committee because hijab and I will be looking out for that. Okay, if you're following your stances. 
उसके ऊपर एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है इज के वी वॉन्ट इवन अगर आपकी पर्सनैलिटी इज समान जो कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल है जो मीडिया आउटरीच करते हैं मैथ मीडिया में जरा यू नो कॉन्ट्रोवर्शियल के तौर पे जाने जाते हैं हम चाहते हैं कि आप फिर भी डिप्लोमेटिक रहें यानी कि कोई बुलियंग नहीं हम करेंगे लाइक like, कमेटी में थोड़ी सी भी बुलियंग नहीं होनी चाहिए दूसरी सबसे जरूरी चीज है कि हरासमेंट कमेटी में बिल्कुल नहीं होनी चाहिए प्रीवियस uh, इंसिडेंट्स होते हैं कभी कोई इंडियन सर्किट में वे हरासमेंट uh, के क्लेम्स आते हैं लूमन इसके मामले में बहुत स्ट्रिक्ट है लूमन वायर पी भी लूमन स्पेड फॉलो करते हैं तो अगर आप लूमन स्पेड के कोई भी रूल्स ब्रेक करेंगे आपको उधर ही एक्शन हम लोग डिसिप्लिन एक्शन लेंगे एंड यूजली उससे ये होता है कि या तो आपको कमेटी से निकाल दिया जाएगा या आपको इवेंट से ही डिसक्वालीफाई कर देंगे और बैन कर देंगे अगर आपका केस जो है ज्यादा सिवियर है तो हिजाब और हम हिजाब और मैं तो बिल्कुल देख रहे होंगे कि हो रहा है हमारे डेप्यूटी स्पीकर भी होंगे अरीज और राफे जिनसे आप और जल्द मिलेंगे और वो लोग भी ये सब कुछ देख रहे होंगे कि अगर आप लोग बोलियंग कर रहे हैं अगर हरासमेंट हो रहा है अगर कोई किसी भी किस्म की बदतमीजी हो रही है या तो जूम मीटिंग में हो रही है या हो रही है किसी और तरीके से व्हाट्सएप फेसबुक ग्रुप्स वगैरह में तो ये सब कुछ है अगर आप में से किसी के साथ होता है ये बुलियंग होती है हरासमेंट होती है गॉड फिर बेट होती है बट अगर होती है प्लीज इमीडिएटली आप या तो हिजाब से या मेरे से रीच आउट करें या अगर आप कंफर्टेबल नहीं है फीमेल्स के साथ रीच आउट करने से हमारी दायस पे राफे हैं आप उनसे रीच आउट करें बट डू रीच आउट टू अस आई स्वेयर वी विल हेल्प यू तो उसकी आप टेंशन मत देगा बट अदर देन दैट लास्ट थिंग आई प्रॉमिस आई नो बहुत लंबा हो गया है द लास्ट थिंग इज के हैव फन हिजाब एंड आई बोथ पर्सनली वॉन्टेड टू लेट यू गाइज नो दिस के Everyone's are all about learning. We know it's a competition. We know, you know, awards and everyone wants to win. But the learning aspect, the aspect of actually enjoying yourself, is really important. So you want this to be a chance for you to enjoy yourselves. Awards, you have to attention not only because when you're having fun, when you're learning, when you are, you know, debating. it shows it shows that you're here to learn shows that you're here to have fun and you're not you know just here to win another award and we will see that and obviously we will take that into preference when we're giving awards but the actual conference itself honestly don't worry about the awards worry about learning having fun making friends and online atmospheres it might be hard making friends but we're here to help you out we might have entertainment sessions i am we are discussing this you know hopefully we have a few if you guys raise those more you raise those motions to have entertainment sessions we look forward to those so yeah that's about it we really look forward to meeting all of you and hearing from you as well so yeah forward to it yes and just one last word and that is uh, <clears throat> considering that this is an online mun we want to make sure that you guys are not straining yourself too hard so honestly don't stress yourself out it's just an mun it's just a conference and we want to let you know that this won't be like your normal mun your normal committees we'll be having a lot of fun crisis uh, sessions and we'll have role playing we will have a lot of fun activities and you guys will definitely enjoy this committee because it will be fun kashif and i will make sure of that <laughs> definitely so thank you kashif for that and thank you for everyone for watching this and we hope that this was helpful for you and this helps um guide you towards the mun all right thank you guys bye bye